Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. And if you've been following the videos on this channel, you might be aware that I recently upgraded to a fantastic new camcorder. It's the uh, Canon XA40 Pro camcorder. This is kind of the bottom of the XA series by Canon, or at least the current models you have in that series, the XA40, which has a one over 2.3 CMOS sensor. You have the XA45, which is adding uh, SDI to that. So if you're doing broadcast work or streaming, um, then you have the 50 with its one inch sensor and the 55 will add SDI to a one inch sensor. So the 45 and the 55 have SDI and the 40 and 50 you're getting up to that one inch sensor for your better low light performance. There's other, um, there's other cameras in the Canon Pro range, including really uh, the XF series, like the XF705, and that's pretty much the top of the range. Um, so I watched a lot of test reels on uh, test footage and videos about this guy before ordering it, I kind of went a bit obsessive on the research, but um, what I didn't see, and that's why I'm putting this up on YouTube, is a kind of test reel with the camera performance shown in different uh, kind of shooting conditions. So in daytime, somewhere between daytime and nighttime, like dusk and then nighttime. So I put together a reel because I've uploaded about 10 different clips um, with shot with the XA40 since starting this YouTube channel. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to show the reel. I'm gonna put it up on my screen here in front of me. I'm going to offer commentary on it. I'll uh, boost up the audio and boost down my commentary where relevant because some of the comments are about microphone selection. Um, I'm just rendering my test reel as we speak. So just give me a second uh, for this to do. This is on the fly production here. And uh, now I'm going to uh, offer some thoughts about it. Now definitely that's just finished rendering. The performance is a lot better than the Vixia HFR800, which is what I upgraded to this from. This is a kind of very consumer camcorder. Uh, so let us give this a shot and uh, see how this all looks. Um, so just give me one moment. Okay, so firstly, this is uh, Damascus Gate. We're gonna be kind of varied subject matter on this video. Damascus Gate in Jerusalem. And this is what it's um, included to show you guys what vlogging looks like. I was basically just holding this pretty much like this and shooting myself. I don't think it's the worst. Uh, this is an example of what B-roll uh, looks like with this uh, with this camcorder. Again, some B-roll shots of uh, I was talking about the broadcast media presence at this particular media event. Um, here is some more B-roll uh, shot in daytime bright conditions, and I was using now this bit's interesting. Watch what happens here. Uh, there was an altercation. The border police uh, saw something and they moved in, and I zoomed in pretty quickly. Now this is actually shot from a rail at the top of Damascus Gate. I was holding the camcorder like this not even on a tripod or a monopod. And something Canon talk about in this camcorder is that the shooting quality, I shoot in 1080p, even if you're just shooting in 1080 and not 4K, you're gonna get much better performance at the telephoto ends of that lens. And I think you can really see that here. This is pretty much at the full zoom and uh, you can see the, the, the footage shot is pretty clear, I think. All right, for people interested in using this for ENG type stuff, here's interview I shot with a Palestinian guy. And this is actually a shot with an XLR microphone. Now we're getting more towards dusk this, as this event continued. This is the Jewish side, they were segregated off by police. Um, and you can see the low light performance isn't as good as when it was bright, but it's still holding up fairly well. Um, as you can see, I wasn't using any external lighting on the subject here. Now, this is actually shot with uh, just the shotgun microphone. So definitely worked out, the sound is decent, not quite as good as the dynamic microphone XLR. So I just had it on my shoulder like this and I was shooting this guy because I didn't have time to get a microphone over to him. And again, we're looking at footage shot around at uh, dusk approximately. Um, so that's that. So the same thing here, we're getting more towards night. You can see the buildings are lit up. Uh, you have the Israeli flag here. So this is a kind of color performance you can see. Worth pointing out, I didn't do any color correction. This is me again doing sort of ENG style stuff. Um, look at the bokeh here. Look at the uh, background versus me. And in some of the clips I've shot, I've been quite impressed by it personally. Um, definitely a lot better than the kind of that effect I was getting on the Vixia. So um, you can see the, the di distinction between my face and focus and the people in the background. Again, same sort of situation here. So I think this is very classic ENG type footage. Like if you were doing re reporting for a local TV station, this is probably very like what you'd be doing, right? Um, more up close B-roll taken again from sort of a very, uh, you know, political scene here. Um, and that is more of me. Okay, we're getting to the next one. Right, so here's what using it looks like for vlogging. So I, I shot this at the desk I'm recording this on and the camera is just basically here. I've got a little lav mic 
uh, coming out of the XLR outputs here. And just to show you, you know, most people would probably use a webcam like this, like what I'm using now, in fact. Um, because the lens is not really intended for this kind of close angle work or vlogging, I do definitely look a bit like too big. I'm actually at the same distance from the webcam as I was when I had the camcorder up. So something to bear in mind doesn't mean it can't be done. It just means you're going to have to position the XA40 a little bit probably further back um, than where you are if you're intending using it for this purpose. I haven't yet got around to running it through a HDMI converter and trying to use it as a webcam, but I believe that it can be done. Uh, with the right uh, converter and of course if you're buying the 45 or the 55 and you have that SDI output you'd be looking for uh, probably an SDI to HDMI converter. I don't know if there are SDI to USB uh, converters for computers. I imagine there are but um, anyway so this by the way comparing vlogging I did with my Vixia with my XA40 I noticed night and day difference. I was shooting this in quite low lighting in my office even though I do have a light on me now as you might be able to see uh, but it was definitely quite a lot better with the XA40 and we're getting slightly bokeh effect uh, with the background uh, there so uh, sorry this is kind of dragging on a little bit long I'm showing you the same thing um, but um, yeah all right totally random footage a cockroach yes a cockroach what I did here I was eating and I saw a cockroach in the ground and I was like let's see how the zoom performance is on the XA40. So look at the detail here. I thought this was pretty incredible. Uh, I mean, I'm totally disgusted by cockroaches personally, but equally, you know, you can really see like, look, you can see the like individual little um, jutty out things on the cockroach's leg. I clearly don't know the actual terminology. You can even see the tiny piece of food the dude's eating. Oh, this is so disgusting. But um, I was quite impressed by the footage. And bear in mind also, this is shot at nighttime. So we're kind of seeing a combo of full telephoto zoom and we're also seeing um we're also seeing uh full again no macro lens or whatever on the camera this is just coming off i wish i uh edited this uh reel a little bit tighter because i'm kind of uh getting a bit grossed out watching this cockroach um zoom performance by the way you can zoom in on the top handle you can zoom in on the rocker um and you can zoom in on the ring so you've got actually three different ways of controlling zoom all right here's me during the festival of Pesach, after a little bit of wine here, I decided, you know what, let's try more experimentary footage. So that's vlogging again. I, I don't think it's the worst, maybe not the best, but you know, you can definitely do it. It's not, that's the benefit of a compact pro camcorder. It's not so heavy that you can't hold it up. Um, I decided to film a cat uh, because I was like, well, this will be an interesting subject. Um, again, low light conditions. So just kind of watch for uh, the detail here as I track this cat. Again, I'm trying here to zoom in really um, on the cat's face and look at the detail in its fur. Um, again, I think this is pretty pretty decent personally. Maybe I'm over estimating my, uh, my, my videography skills. Presumably also I'm gonna get a lot better as I get more used to this camera and eventually I'll start shooting in manual mode. This is tracking the cat and I'm using automatic white balance. Uh, it does look a bit kind of neon-y, I think. Uh, could have been probably better if I did this manually, but um, so this is again, if you're shooting, it probably doesn't get much darker than this uh, in an urban environment. Okay, here's footage shot again during, again, excuse all the kind of very random themes here, but this is uh, a thing that uh, Jewish people do before Passover, uh, kosher dishes. So again, here's more totally handheld vlogging compared to the tripod vlogging I did earlier. And I, I really like the shot of steam coming off. And again, I'm just kind of zooming in. Um, so to be honest, I mean, depends really, I guess, what your expectations are and what you've been using previously. Um, I firstly love the ergonomics of this camcorder. It's a joy to carry this thing by the top handle. It's light enough I can lift it up and get over somebody's head. And, um, you know, I'm not a cin cinematic footage kind of guy. I'm very happy that there is some bokeh available. And um, I've been really happy with everything I've shot with this camcorder and I've just done 1080p so far. I think I've only shot one clip in 4K. This is all 1080p what you're uh, watching here on this test reel. Um, two more minutes to go. Stay, stay with me guys. Cause if you're thinking about investing 2000 bucks in a, in a camcorder, by all means, what well, I think you should watch my test reel and other people's test reels because you'll get a good feel for what kind of performance you can expect. Uh, we're seeing again more kosher uh, koshering of vessels. So a mixture of uh, tight angles and uh, wider framing angles being used here. And you can see with good clarity the steam uh, coming off this boiling pot of water there in the background. Um, 
and the immersion in the cold pool of water. Yeah, you guys are really getting all the detail here. Here's some flames. Uh, this guy was using kind of a flamethrower and I was probably one meter away from him. Um, and uh, this is sound capture in all these clips. I'm just gonna lower the level a bit. Okay, this one is finally a night shot. So this is shot outside Damascus Gate again, but shot during nighttime as you can see. And now I would say is the point where we're really starting to see the low light performance suffer. Uh, this is vlogging at night time, me standing in front of Damascus Gate, Some, a little bit of bokeh visible here. Um, but I would say that that opening framing shot where I had the lights, I think the low light performance, you can see it's starting to get really noisy there. Um, so it can it can keep up to a point and then there's kind of a point, or this is just my observation, where you know it suddenly starts degrading rapidly. Um, and I think that point was, uh, was reached here. So uh, we're almost done, we're almost done, we're almost done. Me in front of Damascus Gate doing again what I call a voice to camera or vlogging work. This isn't shot on a tripod or a monopod, I'm just holding my arms. By the way, at this place all these news guys kept coming over to help me because they were like, why are, you, why are you vlogging with a pro camcorder? So that was really nice of them. Um, this is kind of bright, there's a lot of uh, LED lights going on here, so maybe this exaggerates the type of performance you can expect. I've seen people saying they had to overlight their subjects with the XA40 and not on the XA50, so I've seen a lot of people saying you know, if you have that extra 700 bucks to spend, go for the XA50. All right, guys, we've made it through the whole test footage reel. I hope that was informative uh, to someone thinking about buying this camcorder, give you an idea for what kind of performance you can expect. All that test footage aside, I personally have been immensely, immensely happy with this. And as I say, I'm doing video for a hobby, so uh, I have to sort of um, invest a little bit conservatively in all this gear. My only regret is if I had an extra, uh, whatever it was, I would have got the XA50, and if I had an extra more money, I probably would have gone for the XO705 because I'm really invested in the, uh, in the camcorder uh, market, and I've been really happy with Canon so far. So yeah, hope that video uh, was useful, and if you want to see what more videos shot with the XA40 looked like, keep following this YouTube channel because I'm going to be keep uh uploading more videos shot with it thanks you for thank you for watching if you want to get more videos uh please feel free to subscribe